Well, we did not get as much snow as we were supposed to today, it looks like, because temperatures rose, so now it's just gonna start raining. We're gonna hop on the snow plow here, and uh, we're gonna push some snow here. I'm gonna see how this thing works with a little bit of fresh snow, but we'll see, because it's starting to rain, so it's kind of nasty. All right, you're good. What is going on guys and welcome back to the next segment of this video. Hopefully you guys liked the intro. Last week I uploaded a video reacting to some of the Facebook marketplace listings in my general area and you guys seemed to like it. It was actually the most popular video that we uploaded last week. Lots of comments and likes and so on and you guys seem to really enjoy going back and forth in the comments a little bit. So. Today we're gonna to be doing another reaction video and this time we're not doing anything local. This is actually in a totally different state. Every state, even sometimes just county to county, city to city, shirt prices are completely different. And I know that where I'm at in Ohio, I'm like, man, some of these prices are absurd, but I found some that are going to literally blow some of your minds and it's just wild. So we picked our pinpoint in the Facebook marketplace today which was within 250 miles of Los Angeles, California. California. Beautiful. And so I'm gonna be reacting to five trucks that I found in Los Angeles, California on Facebook Marketplace. Literally took me 10 minutes to find these trucks and I, I couldn't believe what these trucks were listed for. Uh, one of these is a little bit unfortunate, but we'll get into it in terms of <laughs> the situation with the truck but some of these are just absolutely mind-blowing what they're asking for these things, and it'll make sense as to why the prices are high. Now, I totally understand that, you know, prices and values are literally just determined based on who's writing the check and if the guy thinks it's worth it or not. That's really all it comes down to, because I've had stuff listed for sale, whether it be used equipment around my place that I've gotten rid of, or when I've sold a truck in the past, or a car or whatever, people are like, oh, that's too much money, and then two or three days later, I have somebody give me the amount that I was asking. You know, so it, you know, sometimes an opinion is just completely blatantly like, okay, the guy just can't afford it, so that's why he's complaining about the price and he doesn't say it's worth it. In some of these cases, I think almost everybody should agree with me that these trucks are not worth what they're asking for these things. Now, again, some of these trucks, the prices might be ridiculous, but the trucks are still super cool, and I'm just gonna go through these. I'm gonna kind of react to each of them as I open them up, and it's Pretty crazy. Some of these, when I first got these screen recordings, I was when I found them, I was like mind blown. I'm like, there's no way this dude's really asking this kind of money for this truck, and he really was. When you're using drugs, you're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really can be. I mean, his, his description was like, you know, I know what I've got. You know, cash takes it, cash is king. You know, come get it. Like whatever, like cleanest you're gonna find. And there's like dents all over the truck, and I'm like, oh my goodness. Don't do drugs. So if this is your truck. Don't get offended, I'm just doing a reaction video, but you might want to take notes on what you're asking for it because um, it might actually be a little bit absurd. Last time I filmed this in the truck, the audio might actually be a little bit better if I just film this inside my house and uh, do this in the basement here. So I'm actually just doing this from my computer downstairs. So I'm gonna open up the first one here and I'm gonna go through these and let you guys see them on the screen as well. The first one we have here is a 2001 3500 and the guy has it, right now it's listed for 35, but he was originally asking $40,000. And when I looked through the first few photos, I was like, okay, the truck's clean though, it's in California, it's, it's gonna be spotless. And rust-free only goes so far when it comes to pricing and what it's worth. 
you know, it's wet underneath. You can see there's some drip marks under the truck. Interior's fine, but he said that the dash is all busted apart. In the description says the dash is not good. The headliner's coming down, it's dropping in a couple spots. You know, normal old stuff that you wouldn't be bothered by when you're looking at a 20 some year old truck, but when it's 35 grand or 40 grand like he was originally asking, hood's got a bunch of paint chips. It's It must have flew up because it's smashed in on the corner on each side and the windshield's also all cracked apart. And I've had that happen on a truck before, so I know that that's probably what happened. Hood must have came up, cracked the windshield, damaged the hood. He does have another hood that's primed, it looks like. Now the truck apparently does only have 113,000 miles on it, so I, you know, I get it. It's a lower mileage truck. But it says mint condition exterior, eight out of 10. Interior's a nine out of 10 only because of dash, tons of upgrades. Yeah. Stop it. Uh, 100,000 miles, that's cool. But 35 to 40 grand, dude, I just don't see that happening. Now, if you listed this and the hood was replaced, everything was spotless, you fixed the headliner, you replaced the busted up windshield, you know, and it doesn't have a single dent or scratch on it, dude, I'm sure I'm sure there's somebody out there that would pay that. But in that condition, when somebody's got that kind of money to spend, they don't wanna have to fix the windshield, they don't wanna have to fix the hood, they don't wanna have to fix the interior, they don't wanna have to replace the dash. It's like, for that kind of money, it better be spotless. Okay, so the next one here, it's a, it's a 2001 3500. This one caught my eye and I was immediately blown away. I, could, I couldn't believe what this guy was asking for this truck. So it's got 306,000 miles on it. He's asking 27 grand. It's in Fresno, California, 300,000 miles on it. Uh, maintained regularly, a bunch of new parts, new mirrors, new headlights, new clearance lights, new fog lights. Uh, so it's got some new parts, but if you look under this front end picture, you can see it's leaking stuff in several places on the front end of this thing. I mean, you can see all the, the fluid drips under the truck. The bumper, it's, I mean, it's a black fortune bumper that's not painted, you know, nothing's done. It's just a steel bumper that's primed. I mean, the paint looks good. I'll say that. He said that it has brand new paint on it, and I get that. It's got new parts on it, but 27 grand for 300,000 miles. I mean, I don't live in California, so I don't know if these guys are actually getting this kind of money for these trucks, but if this is legit, dude, I'm getting a steal of a deal on some of the trucks I'm buying around here for freaking 18 to 25 that I think is absurd. I mean, this is just crazy. You guys let me know down in the comment section below. I wanna know, am I the only one that thinks some of these asking prices are absolutely absurd? This is a 99 2500. This truck, this is the one that I said is a slightly unfortunate situation. So it's for 99, 200,000 miles on it for 8,000 bucks. He says the motor does run. Transmission, I'm assuming, would be totally fine for parts. But the truck is completely wrecked. So it's a completely wrecked 99 for 8,000 bucks. And I mean like smashed. Like it's, it's bad. You know, I'm sure the frame probably isn't really worth anything in terms of part money because it looks like it got pretty much wrecked in the front end bad. I'm sure it's bent up a little bit, a little twisted. There's probably some good parts on there, but like the door's got big dents in it and smashed up a little bit. I think one of the sides of the bed are all crinkled a little. Maybe that's a different truck I'm thinking of. No, nah, the bed's got a little damage, but I mean like it's, you know, eight grand. I mean, is the motor and transmission worth eight grand? Or, you know, the couple of seats that you might be able to pull out of it for parts or the rear glass. I don't I don't really know. I mean, I don't know if that's, that's really worth anything on one of these. I just don't know, like even for part value, I don't know if there's eight grand there. Maybe the motor and trans, if it really is in good running shape, you might be able to recoup a good portion of that. That kind of sucks, because that, that's one of those trucks that, you know, if it was 200,000 miles in California, rust-free, dent-free, paint chip free, like just a clean truck with 200,000, it probably would still be bringing 20 grand over there. Around here at least, even if it's rust free, if it's wrecked like that, you're not getting eight grand for it. This one was crazy to me, because now I kind of cracked on some of those other trucks, like the one that just needed a hood and a windshield and a dash, right? But he was asking like 35 to 40 is what he had it listed at. And then the other one was like 27 or 27.5, 300,000 miles on it. But that truck didn't have any dents, it didn't have any rust, it had brand new paint. Like it was super clean at least, right? This is an 07 for 27.5. In the first picture you see, the rear end of this truck is just completely smashed up. So it was used as a repo truck and the rear end of this thing is just absolutely destroyed. I mean, I can't imagine how many sets of taillights he's probably gone through on this thing. I mean, the thing has just been beat. It looks like a two wheel drive, 206,000 miles on it, which is crazy, but 206,000 on it. 
and uh, it gets better. So he's got all these listings. You can see the one side of the truck looks good. Then you see the other side and it is smashed to pieces. I mean, the bed is just destroyed. It's bad. And again, it looks like a two wheel drive truck. I mean, the front end is super, super low on this thing. Like it's really low, but 27.5 with 206,000 miles on it. And it's like completely beat. And it looks like it's a two wheel drive. Absolutely crazy. In my opinion, I don't think anybody should ever give 27,500 for a third gen with 200,000 miles that's beat to crap like that. It might not have any rust since it's in Cali, but dude, the amount of body panels you have to buy for that thing. <laughs> oh man, for that, that kind of money, it just seems ridiculous. Now here's another truck, and real quick on this one, this truck, I will admit, is super clean, and you know, the guy claims that everything's been redone on it and all that stuff. I don't know anything about the truck other than the fact of whatever's listed in the description. But even if, man, I mean like 240,000 miles, it's still 240,000 mile truck. Even if you say everything's redone, like you're still gonna look at the odometer, it's gonna be a 240,000 mile truck, you know. Again, it's one of those things, value's determined on who the guy is with the checkbook or the cash willing to pay. You might find something that's willing to pay this, like in a heartbeat. But in my personal opinion, 30 grand essentially for 240,000 mile truck, cool is only worth so much. But this thing is really clean, I will tell you that super clean truck at least according to the pictures i mean this thing is really nice inside and out 240 on it rebuilt transmission 96 3500 complete restoration was featured in the diesel world magazine twice 550 horsepower you could eat off everything on the truck a uh, short list of stuff done you know suspension injectors delivery valves i mean all kinds of stuff done clearly he's got you know a lot of money wrapped up in the truck pictures is where it gets pretty good though because this thing really is clean. Again, I don't know if it's $30,000 clean, but it's clean. Interior is really well done. New bezel, looks like seats are probably reupholstered. Engine bay looks clean. Looks like the frame's been completely re-sandblasted and coated up. I mean, it looks really nice. Everything looks well done. This is a truck, like if you're gonna pay that kind of money, if everything was actually replaced, it's one thing. It's another thing if it's like 240,000 miles, nothing's been replaced. And it's like, oh, it's original. 30 grand, you're thinking original is only worth so much to me. Like if I had to choose between original with 240 on it and nothing's been replaced and you know, 240 on it and the guys had to replace tons of wear and tear parts that are prone to going out, I'd rather buy the one that's had all the parts replaced at least. It might be worth 30 to somebody, but that just seems crazy to me. Maybe this truck will sell for that out there. I just, I just don't, I just don't see it around here. I mean, I see trucks on like Gateway Motors going for like 35 to 45,000, but they're always like, you know, super clean, super low mileage, like under 120. And they're usually like, not, they're not built usually at all, but they're usually just super clean, one or two owner, low mileage trucks that have just never really seen a day of work in their life. And those trucks hold that kind of value, I think for a different reason is A, most of them have been like meticulously maintained and pampered, but those trucks fit into a category of almost like collectible condition. Like they're just so, so nice that like, you're just not gonna find them like that almost anywhere else you look just because it's such a niche to find them that ultra clean and bring that kind of money. And I think what's happening is guys will see listings like that and then they'll just throw their second gen with 300,000 miles on there and go, oh, 30 grand. Because I've seen they're going for that on some of these sites and it's like, okay, they might be going for 30 grand or 35 grand if they're like under 120 and they're like premium ready to go. Like not a scratch, doesn't need paint, doesn't need a windshield, doesn't need a dash, it doesn't need headliner does like it doesn't need seats repaired like it's like it's it's perfect for that kind of money it's a little bit different you just got to debate like does your truck fall into that category of being like ready to go perfect and i don't know some of these trucks just do not to me but i will say this not everybody out there is absolutely absurd with the prices of the trucks i saw plenty of them on there you know they were selling second gens i was actually kind of surprised how many i saw for like 10 to twenty thousand, and they were like two hundred thousand ish miles or less and they were actually like just really clean California trucks that were very, very reasonably priced. And uh, actually some of the prices I saw were a lot less than what some of those trucks would go for around here in the same condition, which is pretty mind blowing. I thought for sure, based on some of the comments I got under a post I made on Instagram, guys were like out west, California, you know, worst truck prices ever. And I'm sure there are places and dealerships out there in certain markets where the prices are just absolutely ridiculous. But from what I saw, 
those trucks that I just showed you were like the most overpriced, I guess you could say. Just trying to find those few guys that got those 30, $35,000 second gens out there and that one third gen, yikes. Stop it, get some help. I think it was bad. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Do not forget that if you wanna get entered to win our 2004 59 Kevins, that comes with $5,000 cash, this thing does not have 300,000 miles on it for 35 grand. You could actually enter to win that one for like $35, you know, on our website. You could buy a shirt, a hat, you could buy coffee, you could buy detailing products, you could buy anything you want off our site and you're instantly entered to win. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to see another video like this, comment down below. Let me know in the comment section what style of video you guys have liked seeing most recently. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.